Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Jada and today I'm going to be giving you guys some middle school tips and advice because I know middle school is like kind of like a stressful time. So yeah, I'm just going to stop talking and without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started with the video. Very first tip is to not get into drama like whatsoever. Like drama is no like I don't care like it's no because I lost my best friend to drama and it wasn't the best time so do not get into drama it's just no <laughs> okay so um like if if you want like if something's going on between you and, and your friend just like get out of it as best as you can and if any relationships have become toxic then get out of it too because that's what we, me and my best friend had to do because our friendship was becoming toxic and um, in some way she was toxic to me and apparently I was toxic to her somehow. I don't know how but apparently I was. So um, just if anything's become toxic, get out of it because that's just no. So don't get into drama. Okay, so the next thing is find your real friends because honestly, fake friends aren't worth it and like it's just not worth it in the end, you know, and it's just terrible. So um, find your real friends before anything, any drama or anything. Um, find out who your real friends are. Like I have some real friends that I found out who were my real friends just this year and a little bit like at the end of last year. And for this car drive by. <laughs> and yeah, so just find your real friends because honestly fake friends are So my next tip is gonna be how to spot fake friends. So um I would have done like a whole other video on this, but I'm not gonna talk about a whole a whole lot. So um basically how my parents spot spotted my fake best friend is um that they don't they don't celebrate your accomplishments they just you know they're kind of like okay cool you know they're not excited for you and they're not cheering you on basically what my friend did is um i'm not going to expose anything because privacy and just things so um is like i would say that i'm like good at art because i am good at art and i think i'm good at art and she'd be like oh you're not as good as this person and my parents and my grandma my nana thought that I should have like that she shouldn't be my friend just because like she's saying that stuff and she should be cheering me on and not bring me down with like you're never gonna be a th this good and also with like YouTube I said that well my dream is to reach a thousand subscribers and she said oh I don't think you're ever gonna do that or like no she said um I don't remember exactly what she said because I don't know why, I don't know what she said, I don't remember, but, um, it was something about, like, something along the lines of, oh, you're not as good as this person, and that didn't make me think of anything, just because, you know, she's my friend, and I just didn't think about it, and eventually, when we had drama last year, my parents brought it up, and my grandma brought it up, my nana, I'm just gonna keep on calling her my nana, because that's what I call her, and my nana brought it up, and I was like, that's true, like, but I was just too scared, I don't like to drop people, you know, so, she dropped me the other day, but, I don't know, so, yeah, that's how you, like, just spot a fake friend, and, yeah, just fake friends aren't worth it, so, <laughs> so, my next tip is to get a lot of sleep, um, I go to bed at 9.30 or 9 most of the time. Sometimes I go to bed at like 11 depending on like if we were out somewhere or something and we got home late or just whatever. But focus really hard on your grades because middle school, it's super important to focus on your grades. And yeah, um, I think grades are really important and a lot of people don't care about their grades. But honestly, I think that you should and like just get a lot of sleep so you're ready the next day at school and yes so focus on your grades 
that's not the only thing that you had to focus on, you know, obviously, but just remember to always do your homework and stuff because what my school does is if you don't do my, if you don't do your homework you get put on ICU. Well, ICU. It's kind of creepy because like ICU. You get it? <laughs> um, most of you probably get what I'm trying to say. And you have to go like at lunchtime during like during lunch and recess. I don't know if you guys call it like noon rack or recess, but we call it recess. So during lunch and recess we go into if you if you're on the ICU list which is where you don't have like an assignment done or turned in or whatever. You have to go into the library and work on it for lunch and recess. You don't get like talk to your friends or anything. So I would recommend doing your homework and stuff because your teachers could like just pull you in any time of the day and um, have you finish your work. And it's just worth it to do it at home instead of like at school. And going along the lines with homework, do your homework the first thing that you do because like, if you just got, got on your phone right as you get home, or you get on, like, your computer right as you get home, it's just gonna be, like, in your brain, like, oh, five more minutes. Oh, no, five more minutes. Five more minutes, and then I'll do my homework. I'll do my homework, okay? And then eventually, it's too late to do your homework. So just do your homework first thing when you get home. Easy to just get it out of the way, and then you can just relax for the rest of the night. And, um, yeah, so. <sighs> do your homework first thing, and also listen to music, because, well, Unless it distracts you, um, a lot of music, like, music with words, like, I know it distracts me and I can't think because I'm listening to the song, so I put on instrumental, like, upbeat instrumental music, so I can't talk today because I have a cold, if you guys can't tell, um, but, yeah, music is really good and instrumental is the best. I use, like, upbeat, I don't like the low, like, slow, I like the upbeat instrumental music, so, yeah, and then um, another thing for homework is to um, find a like quiet place. So right, this is my bedroom. I'm in here all by myself. Nobody else in here. I can do my homework right now. I, I'm not gonna do my homework, but I don't have any homework. So um, especially since I'm homeschooled, all my work is at home. So I mean, <laughs> so just find a quiet place to work with like your music if you want to listen to music otherwise you don't have to but make sure there aren't any distractions like put your phone give it to your like mom and say that you can't have it till you're done with your homework so so this is gonna be my very last advice tip thing so it's gonna be how to make friends new friends in middle school so I know that a lot of people like say this in their videos like how to make new friends at their schools but they've already tried making friends with the people at their schools because there a lot of people don't switch schools to middle school like some people go to a different middle school than all their friends and they have to make new friends but with me i don't know why i just can't seem to make friends like i just don't know i only have a couple of friends and a lot of them don't really talk to me they talk to me like on snapchat and stuff sometimes but like at school we don't really talk there's this one person that i talk to <clears throat> But that's it. And I tried so hard, fifth into sixth grade, sixth into this year, and I can't make any friends. Like, I've texted people, be like, hey, you wanna be a friend? And like, um, why? You know, like, it's just like kind of weird, and I'm just like, well, whatever. Um, but yeah. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys how to make friends. I don't know exactly how to because I can't make friends. I can't seem to make friends. But, if you are going to junior middle school, this might be easier than like going to the same middle school and trying to make new friends that you already know th those people and stuff. So, I mean, it'll be easier going to another middle school. But if you're going to a, a, like the same middle school, I'll try to give some tips on that. But the first one for <clears throat> the people who are going to a different middle school is just be your very nice, like the nicest person ever, and get your reputation to a good reputation and be nice to everybody compliment everybody like if somebody's having a bad day go hang out with them go talk to them and stuff and then um yeah just make your reputation really good and eventually people will come to you or if you just want to go right on and go to people um what i would do is i just go up and say hey my name is jada what's your name and I, we just start talking i'll be like um do you want to like be friends or something you know um sounds kind of cheesy but um <laughs> whatever um, you know, like, what do you want to be friends after you have like a conversation? And they'll be like, Oh, yeah, or they won't, or they'll be like, like No, it's I already have a lot of friends in your 
just don't make a big deal out of it, you know, like, because you don't want your reputation to be bad. So that's how you do it if you're going to a new middle school, is to just start conversations and then, like, ask them, you know, like, do you want to be friends? Do you want to start hanging out more? Um, and then they say no, then, like, go to somebody else and also make your reputation good, not bad, because then there aren't going to be a lot of people who like you. So, yeah, get your reputation to a good reputation. And then for people who are going to, like, the same middle school that all their friends are, um, and then they just happen to, like, lose friends or they just want more friends, um, I don't really under, I don't know exactly how to do that because I've tried and it, like, doesn't work, but... Uh, basically just start out new so again build up your reputation to a good reputation eventually there will be people who are coming to you because you have a good reputation you're super nice and like all this but you can also go to people and you can just start hanging out with them and just be like hey i don't know if you like know me that well but you know like just try and get to know each other and yeah so i keep doing this i'm sorry um yeah, build your reputation to a good reputation, new school or not, you know, and try and be nice to everybody. So, like, if there's, like, these popular girls or whatever in middle school, go, like, compliment one of them or something. And Because maybe they're having a bad day. Maybe they're having a bad life at home. Like, you don't know. So, even though they have, they have a smile, they could be, it could be fake. So, yeah, always make somebody's day better. <laughs> so, guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, yeah um i guess i'll just see you guys in my next video sorry about this bad like i kept on like pausing it and not like cutting that part out it's fine um yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed the video um and i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to be yourself you're beautiful and you're amazing bye <laughs> oh wow my smile was like <laughs> bye